having once been described as a cross between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, it would be fair to say Adama Traore still has a way to go. A work in progress, certainly. Raw talent, plenty. In a crucial championship match against top six rivals, Traore endeared himself to one section of Pride Park and enraged the rest. He can be a bit theatrical, which never goes down well in away games, and he has a tendency to pick up yellow and red cards. But when he just concentrates on the job in hand, he can be a real pest as he showed by making goals for Muhammad Bizek and Brita Sambalanga to keep Boro firmly in the promotion hunt. Maybe not quite the messi ronaldo combo, as described by Tim Sherwood during his time at Aston Villa but not bad for a Saturday afternoon in the Midlands. As for Derby, the cruel visiting supporters taunts summed it up, Derby County, it's happened again seconds before the second goal. A last-minute penalty, scored by David Nugent, sparked brief hope that something would be salvaged but to no avail. County have been hanging on, by their fingernails but last week's dismal show at Burton saw Derby drop out of the top six for the first time since November. And to think they were in an automatic promotion place 12 games ago. A gung-ho call to arms for manager Gary Rowett in January has had virtually no response from the players, who are once again living up to their reputation as second half of season bottlers. Last week angry fans confronted goalkeeper Scott Carson and filmed it as he emerged from a charity function which seems particularly harsh given Carson has been one of the steadier performers. Defender Curtis Davis admitted the team lacked heart and desire at their relegation-threatened neighbors last week, a damning indictment. All in all, a depressing scenario yet not a lost cause. Finishing with three home games out of four, and with the benefit of a match in hand, admittedly, against Cardiff, there was still an opportunity to grab. Middlesbrough have been grabbing their opportunity under wily old fox Tony Pulis who last took a team into the Premier League in 2008 with Stoke City. Two defeats in 12 now has seen Boro nose into contention. Derby, Carson, Keogh, Davis, Forsyth, Wisdom, Huddlestone, Hansen 71, Johnson, Olsen, Wyman 63, Lawrence, Vidra, Palmer 63, Nugent subs not used, Pierce, Ruse, Jerome, Ledley goals, Nugent, 90 plus 2 booked, Nugent, Huddlestone Middlesbrough, Randolph. Shotton, Ayala, Gibson, Friend, Housen, Clayton, Bezik, Leadbitter 81, Adama Traore, Asambalanga, Downing, Fabio 85 subs not used, Craney, Fry, Johnson, Harrison, Constanto Poulos goals, Bezik, 20, Asambalanga, 70 booked, Clayton, Adama Traore referee, Mr. Lee Probert attendance, 28,096 so, according to recent form, this match was destined to be all about the visitors. In fact, with the help of a noisy home crowd, it was Derby who started the stronger and who built up a head of steam first. Had Bradley Johnson been on target with a header from Tom Lawrence's corner, who knows what might have happened next. There were furious claims for a penalty too when George Friend and Mage Fighter went down in a tangle but referee Lee Probert was unmoved. The official, perhaps expecting a physical confrontation, booked Adam Clayton in the opening 50 seconds laying down a marker. Having been in charge for the first quarter of the game, Derby found themselves behind with a move which asked a thousand questions about defensive placings. Traoré darted down the right. Crossed for Bezik, who took one step and connected perfectly. The effort was so powerful that Carson managed to get a touch without being able to divert it. At the squeaky bum end of the campaign, it can all come down to who takes their chances. For Derby the focus was on Vidra, supporters player of the season. PFA Team of the Year and EFL Team of the Year. The 20-goal striker would swap the lot for a place in the Premier League. He has history, too, having hit a hat-trick in the championship win in November to make it four in five games against Boro. Pulis had clearly highlighted him as the danger man and the forward had one of his most anonymous games, subbed after an hour. Nugent and Tom Lawrence tried to fill in with Nugent not far away with a long-range effort and Lawrence forcing a save from Darren Randolph. Boro goalkeeper Randolph was called on again to deny Marcus Olsen. But Boro looked comfortable and dangerous on the break. Johnny Housen skimmed the bar before Traoré repeated his first goal trick and set up a Sambalanga. The Derby fans were streaming towards the exit long before the end with Cardiff next on Tuesday. Many missed Daniel Ayala's challenge on Curtis Davis which earned the home side a penalty taken well by Nugent. Too little, too late. 